So this is Cozy Grace cardigan. Although when I wear over my Sophia off shoulder, it won't really go well together because the off shoulder is kind of like yeah out here already. Just for you to see how to wear this piece. Actually, it's not so bad. The other day I wear and I feel like no, it's not so matching. It's nicer when you wear with white. I found or oh, like solid color black or white but just for you to see how the how the drap of this cardigan kind of like you know falling into place like this and I really like this stitch it's go very well together with this pattern here I have no idea before I really put them together or somehow you know create this piece that they can I don't know there's no word it's just a texture of it like this I don't even know what this stitch called some people said shell stitch some people said um, what is the name honeycomb but I don't think it's a honeycomb I did some research the other day and it's not a honeycomb stitch for me it's more like a 3d of a fan stitch fan what you call fan yeah fan stitch oh, I don't know if that is the word <laughs> I have no idea but it's go very well together and it's just so nice feeling like when you when you feel when you touch it's so soft although I have to say it ate up a lot of yarn when you do this stitch and the back side is totally different like there's another stitch here in the back side the back side is simple yet the texture is amazing too because it's combination of a row of double crochet and the double crochet mixed with front post double crochet good morning love <laughs> um, today is Sunday and I am actually filming Sunday <laughs> I know it should be already the video go out at this time 11 a.m. as I promised but this week has been so busy and I didn't have time to really film or you know do the work that I supposed to do but that is life <laughs> um, we are at the in-law if you were with us yesterday in live chat live live chat <laughs> with Saturday live chat on Instagram you know that we are here since few days already Kai has an exhibition so we were here setting up plagues and the exhibition was the vernissage was on Friday and it was very beautiful but now I feel like I'm running behind the schedule of the work so I'm kind of catching up everything now and uh, <laughs> Um, I'm working on the cardigan. You already see some posts, some photos on Instagram. So <laughs> my mother-in-law is here. She's trying to be very quiet. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can see the posts on Instagram, mostly on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I most of the time posting my you know current project so I finished this first step of Cozy Grace cardigan I say first step because the full complete version will have a long sleeve but because I'm running out of the yarn and also I'm kind of like I want to see how it looks without the sleeves I love it so much I put the photo for you around here so you can see the I wear yesterday and the day before and the vernissage day and yesterday as well we have a coffee ceremony, Ethiopia coffee ceremony in the gallery and it was very nice. Um, yeah, what I want to say today, I will choose the testers and if you watch this video today, like Sunday, I think you still can apply. But if you watch this video after Sunday, um, what is the day today? Today is 24. If you watch after Sunday, meaning that the testing process has already begun, I wanted to show you anyway how the cardigan look like and to answer some question because some people already want to prepare for the yarn. I don't know if you remember there was one video just like from this month, like two weeks ago, I have a video talk about this yarn, this West Chai, West Yorkshire spinners. Um, 
I do a, a full review of this yarn so I put the link under this video for you and also you can see in the card over here I use this yarn <sighs> smell nice because of the perfume <laughs> um, I use this yarn for this first step meaning that without a sleeve I use up about 1460 yards so this is size XSS like you know not like XS and S because I make like XX slat S and SM ML XL 2X 3X 4X 5X this pattern gonna be until 5X so every every size gonna be more than this size like the yarn that you will use will be slightly more up the scale from XS slat S up to you know so you can already prepare it if you are like SM you will need to have 200 yards more approximately so I put the info also in description box if you don't catch everything I say now <laughs> so I put all the info there and I use hook um, six millimeter hook and I also use hook four millimeter hook to single crochet the panels together but if you don't want to to connect the panels together with single crochet you can just use yarn needle but for me I like single crochet because it's nice and it's easy to undo it when I need to fix something and the outside look great it doesn't look doesn't show any seam at all so the structure of this pattern let me move my coffee today I drink coffee because Kai is not here yet <laughs> and my mother-in-law made me a coffee with oat milk still hot so the structure of this pattern is simply three three panel of uh, rectangle so the rectangle and the front left and right is kind of the same measurement 13.4 inches for my size and the back panel is what determine the size also the front like if you bigger than my size then you got to have longer a little longer slightly longer at the front to be able to do this kind of closing around your neck and everything going to be in the ring pattern to tell you how how much you need to make more and also for those who want to try to you know like making by your own measurement and not follow everything the number from the tester the number from the suggestion of the pattern i teach everything how you can measure your body i have another video that will come with the rim pattern to show you how you can measure the body but i can also tell you now for those who are not um, up for get a pattern and want to try this on with your own stitch i wanted to share how i create this pattern so what you do you simply um, measure your body under here with the tape measurement <laughs> and you're gonna have to measure oops under your armpit like so and then so funny the other day I measure and I have 32 and the other day I have 34 so it's like above your breast not 34 um, it's better to not wear too much clothes but this one is okay I found like cuz I gonna wear it over my clothes anyway so I have always 33.5 34 so I take 34 divide it into two is 17 and I minus 2 inches because I want my coat to snuggle me better so it's, I have 15 inches meaning that in the back panel I will make this piece this part 15 inches the width yeah and the length is like I make quite long it's gone down over my knees so the length uh, is about 45 inches for this piece and obviously everyone and have different lengths like I have I am 160 centimeter tall it's not that tall so 45 inches for me is perfect I love this length but you can just try it on and I mean just try by put make start with the long chain and see the length how much you need to you want your cardigan to be and because this piece we crochet in vertical like up and down from you know here and down here so is it's a big piece and you need quite some times I mean for me 
if I put all the time together, it, it take me about like one and a half week to do it. But yeah, if you crochet slow, maybe take longer time. I also add the button at the neck here. So I really love, this is my, one of my favorite piece to wear, especially this time. Next week I'm going to add the sleeve, but when you get the ring pattern, you can make, you know, without the sleeve. Because I know some of you doesn't like to have a sleeve. And I quite like it this way too, but I think with the sleeve <laughs> would be nice as well. Because then I can just wear it by it on without put the jacket. Oops over it it's quite warm yesterday I wear this to go outside and I wear another jacket um, on top of it and it was like not not a big jacket I mean it's nice no and also look very nice I didn't think that it would look cool with Sophia off shoulder yeah I like it when the neck is also like this because I like the the movement of this part of of the cardigan and you know what I want to do with you like to have a crochet with you I know that I said I don't want to do tutorial tutorial anymore because it take long time but I think um, with this stitch it would be so fun to do a crochet along together here on YouTube. Let me know in the comment below if you also want me to do, to do a tutorial of this stitch and this stitch together because I plan to make an oversized scarf using these two designs. And yeah, maybe I can share it with you. Maybe we can have kind of like live chat and show you the stitch or you prefer the tutorial i also have to see the time with the live chat is a little bit difficult for me as well but i would find the time to maybe make a short um, tutorial on how to crochet these two stitch and that you can also learn to make this design and if you want we can crochet together like i said with the long scarf i plan to also make using this stitch this both maybe combined with the back oh i don't know if you see the back panel is a different design the back panel is made out of a double crochet double crochet combined with front post double crochet so it's very simple but the texture is quite amazing because you kind of like have this feeling of you know 3ds looking and also you feel this it's not a pop stitch, but the feeling it gives is a little bit like a pop stitch, which I love. I find it's very elegant. And the name we got is Cozy Grace Cardigan. My mother in law gave the name, and I really like it. So let me know if you're up for um, scarf, oversized scarf, or a beanie, because I want to make a matching scarf and a beanie for Christmas time. So yeah, that would be a fun project to do together. And also, you if you not <laughs> and also if you don't know it yet i created ravelry group as an extension of our podcast here so you can join us there and you will know when something happened for example when i call for tester you can also apply if you know how to read the diagram by the way this pattern based on diagram and diagram is quite easy to understand if you know the code and i found it's so interesting if you want to get better at what you do is is almost it's like you know you can do by like Feeling, of course, I do that all the time. But when you learn a little bit the language, like if you want to communicate with someone and you love this person or these people so much, you have to find the language to speak with them. Like me, if I am not able to speak English, I would not be able to talk to you, even though I make lots of mistakes. But I still speak English with you because I know it's the only way I can communicate with you. The same with crochet. If you want to learn more and to study more and to understand the pattern more, I think it's nice to learn a little bit the language of crochet and the diagram is the language of crochet as well because it's a code and it's so nice when you can understand when you understand the code because meaning that your possibility the opportunity the possibility is even bigger and open even wider for you to make more things because there are lots of patterns out there so yeah 
in the pattern now since I'm learning more and I wanted to share with you more things and I think it would be so amazing if you learn this diagram along with me. I hope you like this short video. I'm gonna come back again. I think, oh, another thing I want to announce here. I think setting the date every Sunday is a little bit uh, to put me a little bit under pressure of creating because I never know what happened in the week and sometime when I finish the video early, I just like to, I just want to publish right away. So I'm just gonna change the date of publishing but I will announce before I post something here. Just make sure you check also on the community side on YouTube here and if you use Facebook or Instagram, just make sure you check on story and the timeline that I post and announcing something so you know when the new video coming out if you don't want to miss anything or just the easy way you can subscribe and click that little bell under this video so you get a notification every time I post a new video. For me it's a little bit hard to say okay I post every every Sunday every this day at this time because I don't have a schedule yet solid to do that and for me it's very hard to create and schedule something in advance because my life is happen here and now so I think this way is the best way for us all and I don't feel like I have to produce something but I can share as much as I want when I have more time. What do you think about this? I enjoyed this conversation with you so much and I hope you do too. Let me know if you have any question and I will answer all of them as soon as possible. Have a beautiful Sunday and I see you next time. Bye bye. Be beautiful as you are.